Sarah Palin could come in here and shake things up and give Republicans another choice. There is no perfect candidate. And, um, you know, I, I would warn voters to never put their faith wholly in an individual, in a politician, because a politician will disappoint you. But have faith in what that politician stands for, what their record represents. And in the choices that we have in the GOP now, the four gentlemen who are running, they're, they're all good. They all have their strengths. And uh, as I say, America will be better off with any Let's of them. Let's talk about one of your strengths. When you came on the scene in 2008, you had your detractors. You were a polarizing political figure. But one thing that everybody realized was that you had the ability to stir the passion of your base. Governor Romney doesn't have that ability. Is it a major flaw for a candidate at this stage of the game? He will have that ability to really. Where's it going to come from? That, Aren't you born with that? You know, because people understand that America is at a crossroad right now and that we have a choice in what direction we'll head. We'll either be able to build on the foundation of liberty and individual freedoms here in America and that entrepreneurial spirit, or we'll go down the other road of these failed socialist policies but, but you, he, that Obama has done to this country. But Governor Romney, in your opinion, can all of a sudden develop that skill. He can get the guy sitting at the bar in Alabama or the woman in the factory in Des Moines to feel he's one of them? You know, he will be able to do that. If, if not Romney, if one of the other GOP uh, uh, candidates happen to surpass Romney in the delegate count and whomever it is, Matt, yes, we'll be able to uh, really coalesce. Uh, we will be able to coalesce around that nominee and make sure that voters understand that they have a choice here in which, which direction America is going to head. Let's talk about the economy. You think it's improving? Uh, for whom? Maybe for those some on Wall Street, but not for the millions still unemployed, not for those whose houses are underwater, not for those who are having to settle at this point with a job that uh, is, is not fulfilling for them financially. But jobs are coming back. Uh, the numbers will come out on Friday. They could be 200,000 new jobs created. Manufacturing is looking better. The stock market is looking better. Consumer confidence is up. We still have fewer jobs today than when Barack Obama took over. And we have debt being incurred at $3 million a minute. Our government is spending too much money. And people are understanding that we cannot keep going down the path that we're heading. Even the Speaker of the House, I sat down with him, John Boehner, last week. I said, is the economy improving? He said, yes, it is. 